Hello friends, in today's episode we're going to be looking at the new Shiny Max Raid event that is running right now. For the next few days we have a brand new event that allows us the opportunity to catch another Shiny Pokemon a little bit easier than what you would normally be able to get. Now let's take a look at the details. If we go over to Cerebi.net at Trusty Source, we can have a look at what the current den is. This is, as I say, the November den. We've got the G-Max Butterfree and the G-Max Garbodor. But we have Get Cheeky with Squavet, because Squavet is the Pokemon that this den is all about. So, you can see in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, the den will be exactly the same. The date that it is running from is today, the November the 20th, and it will run until the 22nd. So that will take us to Sunday evening. This will run till Sunday evening, and then this event will revert back to the November Den with the GMAX Butterfree and GMAX Garbododge. So we've not got long to take advantage of this event. The event is exactly the same over Sword and Shield. There are no variations on the different copy of the game that you've got. Starting off with the one star raids, you've got Cherubi, Fungus, Molel, Squavet, Squavet, Squavet. And as you can see, even if you're at the beginning of your game and taking part of this, you're still going to be able to access a lot of berries. The items here for this event are actually really good. Normally, we don't get any kind of extra items or bonus items, but here you can see Scorvet and Greedent, obviously Pokemon that you can encounter in the, the berry trees in the wild area. They always steal your berries, so it's kind of fitting that you're going to get extra berries with this event. Um, and then moving down to the two-star raids, again, these are for you players early on in your gameplay without the gym badges to get the five-star raids. Uh, again, you're going to get the Cherubi, Fungus, Shinotic, Scorvet, and Greedent, and again, a lot of berries if you get either the Scorvet or the Greedent. Then moving on to the three star raids, Cherubi, Amoongus, Shinotic, Scorvet, Scorvet and Greedent. Still no shiny chance here so uh, on the three star raids but again you're going to be able to really farm berries quite a lot in, in this kind of event which is really nice. And then uh, the four star raids with the Cherubi, Amoongus, Shinotic, uh, the Scorvet, Scorvet, Greedent again and then we move down to where the money is. Here we go the five star raids. This is what you want to be looking for in this event. This is where the special shiny Pokemon resides. You've got Cherubi at five star, Amoongus at five star, Shinotic at five star. You've got regular Squavet at five star, and then you have a shiny Squavet at five star with a 2% chance to spawn in a five star raid if you come across a Squavet, and then obviously Greedent as well. But Squavet is the only Pokemon that you're able to get from this den as the shiny, and you can see it's a little bit of a more of a maroon color. You're gonna get a bunch of berries again with just this evolution line with the other Pokemon that you're gonna catch in the den. You can see here that you just get the regular. You get some berries, but you're gonna just get the regular items as well. But with the Squilvert and the Greedent, you're gonna get a bunch of berries. So it's a really good opportunity to take advantage of this and farm those berries. And there's some really rare ones in there and we'll get to those in a moment. Like I say, we'll just scroll down. It's exactly the same for Pokemon Shield as it was for Sword. And to reiterate, just to let you know that the event itself is running from today, November the 20th, until Sunday, November the 22nd. So time differences will vary around the world, but it's normally for UK time about 12 p.m. So translate that into your own time zone before it ticks over into Monday. So if we jump back into the game, you can see here I have a max raid event den here already running. This is the November event. So if you've got one of these dens in your game and you want to change this to the current shiny event what you need to do as always this is just for those that don't know how to do you want to come into your menu screen mystery gift and get the wild area update so once you've done this you want to just come back out and when you enter the den again you're going to be able to see that the Pokemon has changed and there we go and what you want to do is use the datescape glitch like we've shown in many videos just invite others make sure you're offline doing this come down to your menu screen down to system settings down to system date and time make sure that your synchronized clock is off come down to your date knock it forward one day click OK back into your game exit the den and this will trick the game into thinking the days past changing the frame changing the pokemon giving you that chance to get a five star squavit so we've got the squavit there but we need the five star that is the only chance we're going to have at getting the shiny squavit so we need to cycle through this process until we come across that five star okay so we've come across our five star squavit this is a good example for you guys if you've got the five star and you don't want to waste this den because you can you can do this with literally one wishing piece once you have spawned 
the red den it's always going to be a red beam as well so what you want to do is just save in front of the den just to make sure because what we're going to be doing now is going into the den don't invite others we're just checking to see if it's a shiny squall vet or not if it's not what we're going to do is we would just reset the game and then come back into it and then start the cycle through the day skip glitch through the date skip glitches until we come across another five star which this one is not a five star is not a shiny squall vet so what we want to do is just hit home menu reset the game and then continue as normal so you can see that we have reset the game or back at that initial five star squall vet that we came across we know it's not the shiny so uh, like i said what you want to do is just continually go through the date skip glitch until you come across the next five star squall vet and then you can kind of just repeat the same process so like i said we'll be back i'm going to try and get this five star squall vet for this guide so we can actually see it right friends bit of context here I said I was going to date skip glitch to uh, to get the score of it. We're back about four hours later and two years of date skip glitching. But we finally have it. So I hope the grind was worth it. It has been an inc <laughs> it's been a nuts grind, but we have it. And the good thing about it is that I will be hosting this over on my Discord server tomorrow. Saturday, I will be hosting this pretty much most of the day come over join the link to join the discord is down in the description below we're going to catch this score but don't worry i'll reset so we've got it ready to host for you guys because i don't want you guys going through the same grueling pain that i've just sat through to do this okay so we have actually beaten the squad vert. it wasn't too difficult to take down as you'll experience when you do come across them we have used a dust ball i'm pretty sure if you're hosting the raid you've got better chances anyway i don't think it's going to have a really tough catch rate so you should be fine and the thing that we're looking at is the what we get is a reward so lots of berries you get the orin which aren't really too useful but pecha leper chesto cherry get the the mickle berry which is a very good berry to to get rarer berry then you get some obviously the ev reducing berries also and that's it so we just get a bunch of berries but we do get the shiny squall vert which is super nice and like i said friends what i will be doing join the discord it's down in the description below tomorrow saturday the 21st i will be hosting this den throughout the day for you guys to just come in jump in get the squall vert not have to sit through the agonizingly painstaking uh, date skipping that I've just like gone through to do this. So I hope you appreciate it if you do take part. I don't mean that in any way. I just feel drained after doing it for so long and just thinking I wasn't going to get it. But we've got it. And um, remember that the event does only run till Sunday evening. So make sure you do take advantage of this while you can. It's a good chance to get a lot of berries and get some of the other Pokemon that maybe... A little bit more difficult to get on top of this amazing shiny square shiny that we have access to for just the weekend so have fun with the event there will be updates for the december raid den update uh, in a couple of weeks so we'll be covering that any updates in between then i will make sure to do keep an eye out for them have a great rest of your day thanks for tuning in i'll catch you all for the next one